All right, tubes. We're doing the brakes on my friend Rick's car here. 2011 Nissan Cube SL. And we're doing everything all the way around. New drums, new rotors, new pads, shoes, springs, clips, all that good stuff. And so far, this has been pretty easy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so for the front, here's the wrenches I've been using. 17 and a 14 millimeter. A little uh, brake or brake caliper squeezer inner make happener. And Tubbo Schmoo for just lubing up the brake points on this. Brake pads aren't too bad on this, but they're getting down to a point where I might as well do them. And I think we even got a little bit of a brake shake. So we'll just go ahead and knock this out. Um, I'll uh, link down below the kit for the brake parts that we uh, bought for this, but we got our new pads here. Um, he's down to about 50% or a little less on some of these, so I'll just go ahead and knock this out now. And my other tool, the mallet, which we'll see if we can use this here. So 14 on the brake caliper bolts. They're really not that super tight. I could probably get this other one here. Oh yeah, I don't even need the mallet. So the key thing to take a look at, or keep in mind, on your clips here, you got these little wings. They need to go inside the squeakers. So when we put our brake pads in, we need to orient the squeakers at either the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter which way these go. Um, just as long as you have the squeakers on top and you get these guys inside. Otherwise, it'll rub on your wheel and you're gonna be like, what's going on? This should just come right off. I just rest this on the tie rod end. It'll be fine. Yeah, original brakes. I think there's, what's the mileage? 50? 56, 56. This guy has 56,500 miles on it. And uh, brakes aren't too bad, but. Let's just do it. If I can get this one out here. Gone. I hardly even had to clean anything up on this. I just pop these out. The new clips we got, we'll replace those. Come on now. Okay. That one's good. Oh. Oh, fuck. Jeez. Okay, so this is kind of on there. So I got lucky with just using a dead blow on the other side. Here's the new fancy schmancy rotors we got. High performance. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So these really don't need a whole lot of attention. Just get some of the dirt out of there. And then I make sure these spin or move freely and those are good. So we can go ahead and put that back in there. Where's the, where's the hole? Snug. Let's 
Sometimes these don't want to go in all the way, but that one's close enough. And then we got our wings. I'll, uh, go up in here like this. Okay. And then, so this one will be like that. It's got the squeaker on top. And this one will have the squeaker on top. So, that's yeah, the back side. So I just take a little bit here, just lube where it makes contact with the stuff. This is gonna wash off anyways. These are dry anyways. And so what I do, I'll show you on the front one. I just put the, the wing goes in the squeaker part. And then you just rotate it over. Like that. And these little guys here keep the help release the pads from the brake rotor so they're not engaged all the time. And then this guy, we need to compress. So you can take an old brake pad, slap this in here. And uh, you'll want to make sure you got some room in your brake reservoir, which we have a little bit of room, so we can do this. And I just slowly crank her in. It should bottom out. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, I'll make sure our boot's not too messed up on here, that'll be fine. Tink. I think these really only need about 20 foot pounds. Tink. Okay, next I'll go in the car and pump the brake pedal, let this all settle in, and then that'll be it for the front. <laughs> Tightened up. All right, so that's done. We'll put the wheel back on and we'll go move to the back. Okay, we're on the uh, rear drums and let's get this out. We're gonna need this plug for the new drum. Set that aside. And this just comes off like that. Okay, so. Let me show you how the spring orientation is. You want to kind of pay attention to how everything's how everything goes before you touch it. So, when we go to put this back together, this is what I did on the other side. This spring in the back is kind of a bear to deal with. I just hook it in here. I mean, you put the new stuff in, just hook it in here. And you can take the new one, hook this into it, and then just stretch it over. And these springs are pretty lightweight. They're not too terribly bad, so. Yeah, so let's start taking stuff apart. We got all new hardware. Shoes, drums. We even got new wheel cylinders. I'm just gonna use my pliers here. Or pliers, vice grips. Yeah, we'll get that one off. I usually lay these out in the order I take it off so I kind of remind myself what goes where. And then let's see, we 
we got this other one down here. We can probably grab with their vice grips. We do have a brake tool for it, but it's just too big for these little springs. And then, let's see, this adjuster, I'm gonna shrink this adjuster down. We're gonna have to do that anyways when we put the new stuff in. All right, now this tool I am gonna use for this. Let's see if we can get that off. Maybe have it shoot me in the chest. There we go. And this holds your shoes onto the backing plate. I'm gonna move my parts over a little bit because I'm gonna need my drip pan over here. Okay, so this guy's ready to come off, and I'm just going to go ahead and take him out, just like this. And we'll get the adjuster out, and that is probably the easiest way to release this spring. Okay. Adjuster has the star wheel on the right-hand side. Leave that like that so we don't get it backwards. Hey, that one came right out. Look at that. And so now we have the parking brake cable. You want to make sure you have that released, which we do. Pull that spring back somehow. Or actually, let's see, I did it like this. That'll work. Now, we'll need to peel this guy off and take this off and we'll transfer it over to our new shoe. Okay, and I just used my uh, where'd it go? side cutters. Just grab one end and then just roll it off. And that comes off like that. And then this goes on like that. And somewhere in your bag of goodies is a new clip. All right, what, what is your problem here? You wanna squeeze them together? Maybe a little bit better than what I'm doing there. I'll try and get that a little bit tighter. Oh yeah, there we go. Like that. My nose is running, I better catch it. Okay, before we put everything back on here, we wanna clean this pretty thoroughly. <clears throat> Just get all the dirt off. I'm reapplying new grease to the cable here. Get all the grass in there too, yeah. Got our line. We could use a line wrench, that would be a good idea, but hey, we don't have that kind of technology here. And then, Keep a drip pan under here so you don't make a mess, which I've already done.
wonderful sounds of Vernonia. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a left and right to these uh, um, wheel cylinders, which is kind of nice because you just order two. You know, like, oh, do I need a driver side, passenger side? Okay. Thing I don't like, I think I got that green spring in there a little backwards. And that should be that way. Okay, let me fix that. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, that green spring is not supposed to be riding on the adjuster wheel here. I did have that wrong mistake, but I corrected it before we put it on. Went any further, so this is pretty much how she's supposed to look like. Um, I don't have any, the only leftover hardware that I have is the old stuff. Original Nissan parts. Some of these springs might actually come in handy for something else. I might actually keep those. All new hardware, new wheel cylinders, new shoes, and then now we've got our drum that we're gonna break clean and wipe out. the grass in there. Okay, get the cosmoline off there. And we'll see how she fits. Should be a loose fit. Dragon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the star wheel and I'm going to crank on it until we get a little bit of drag. And 
then after we adjust it, we'll uh, bleed the brakes, put the wheel on, and we'll be done with the brakes. Okay, so since we just replaced the wheel sonar, I was able to just hook, take my jar here, hook that on, and give her a couple of pumps and got all the air out and closed her off. Got a nice solid brake pedal. We got the e-brake on and that's locked solid, so I think I got the adjustment good. So and we just adjust it till we get a little bit of drag. And uh, from there, using the parking brake and, uh, and the brake itself, during normal driving will adjust itself and find its home. So we got her close and we'll let the adjuster do the rest. So we'll put the plug back in, which I kept over here. This is from the original. Uh, and we'll just pop that back in, pop the wheel back on and we're done with this car. So I'll put links down below for the parts and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye.